Mr. Simon Mwewa talks about the former President Edgar Lungu's return to politics. All delivery was a, was a quagmire of inco incoherent babble. That's what it was. The only audible part of that delivery was when he said, it is now my decision to come and to return to active politics. That was the only part of the speech that was, that was, that was audible, okay, as far as I could tell. Now, let me, let me explain what all this means. Uh, uh, first of all, let me be clear. This is one of the most catastrophic political decisions that sixth and former President Lungu has ever made. And it will cost him dearly. It will. Uh, I, I, I stand with many Zambians when I say this, and please hear me when I say this, that the tsunami that will be unleashed post this announcement is going to be so devastating is going to be so catastrophic that former President Lungu will not be able to sustain himself through it. Are you hearing that? You need to, you need to let that sink in your spirit. Let that sizzle, let that marinate in your heart. And let me say that again because I think that's very important. The tsunami, the floodgates that six and former President Lungu has unleashed upon himself his cohorts, his comrades, and his posse. The tsunami will be so overwhelming that they will not have the fortitude to withstand the devastating effects of it. My brothers and sisters, mark my words, this is the beginning of the end. This announcement that ECL has made, he will regret to live it, he will regret that he announced it for the rest of his life. Our history is clear. Zambia's history is replete with leaders, all the way from our first president. The moment they wanted to return to active politics after having served, and let's not lose sight of that, after having served, the moment they decide because their ego has been bruised, because their pride has been injured. Because the truth is, this is what this is all about. The only reason ECL has, has made a comeback or has declared a comeback is because his ego has been bruised. It's because his, his, his integrity, according to him, has been threatened. The reason ECL has announced a return to active politics is that he cannot stand, he cannot stomach the reality and the fact that Hagainde Hichilema is now the president of this country and ECL is not. That's what it's about. And when the dust settles and the dew dries, my brothers and sisters, mark my words, ECL will be a rumor. A rumor and and it didn't have to go this way but unfortunately that's the way it's going to go be prepared be prepared for for things to be difficult and they will be difficult because that's the price you pay there's nothing in this world that ECL can attempt to do now that he didn't do when he served twice. There is nothing that ECL can do now that he can attempt to do after having been sworn in twice. And yes, you can argue and say, no, it's his constitutional right and all that blobbity blobbity blob. You can say that until your face turns blue. The truth is, there's nothing he can do now that he didn't do when he was president for two terms. So this whole exercise, this whole operation is to achieve one goal, unseat HH by any means necessary so that they can take back power and so that they can met out the vengeance and judgment 
that they've always planned, but they never had the opportunity of doing. Why? Because the Zambian people put a stop to it. That's why. It's real. You must say something. So, my brothers and sisters, this is going to be a long road. Oh man, this is the beginning of a very long road. The train, the train of catastrophe that you have released is so long that you will not be able to see or perceive the end of it. And, 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 and I, was, I was disappointed to hear Valungu say, I am willing to suffer the consequences of my actions. Well, at least you're right about that, ECL. At least you're right about that, because there are consequences to this decision. There are consequences to this misguided guidance that you have been given. There are consequences and you and you alone will bear the brunt. Forget these supporters that you're talking to. The only thing they want from you is your money. That's all. Well, you think Bowman is with you because he's, he's a loyalist? No, Bowman wants to survive. You think, you think given Lubinda is standing beside you because he believes in your new vision for the country? No, it's because he knows that, your, that his existence is hidden in yours. That's all. So be prepared. Be prepared for hell because this is where it's going. Be prepared for catastrophe because this is where it's going. Be prepared for sleepless nights, because this is where it's going. Be prepared to be woken up in the middle of the night by your loved ones, and they say to you, Dad, husband, my dear, what have you decided to do? Why have you placed us in this compromising situation? We will know no peace. Be prepared, because that's where it's going. Kindly please leave us a comment and let us know what you think. Kindly please like, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification button. Travel Life 60. Travel the world and feel your best with Irene.